I would have done a lot of training over the years um, in from you know playing football, soccer, um, gym, that kind of thing. I uh, would have been fairly active in kind of mid to late twenties, and would have had the weight fairly low. And since then, obviously, you know, life goes on. Ten, ten years later, uh, carrying a bit of timber the last couple of years, we had a baby, and just life. But always had it in the back of my mind, still tipping away at the gym, thinking that I was doing pretty good. But in retrospect, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't systematic. It wasn't set up properly. But you know, mm-hmm. hindsight's a wonderful thing. And then you're kind of lying to yourself. You're kind of kind of going, oh, yeah, no, I know what to do. I know what to do. Now, looking back, what I used to do would have been like cut out carbs, cut out sugar, and that was the key because you know from being misinformed from trainers and um, would have done on one-to-one PT stuff, but would have been kind of based with uh, an organization. I won't name them, but it would have it would have been it would have hinged on taking a lot of their supplements. You drop the body fat, you do all that, but it's not sustainable at all. Again, hindsight's a wonderful thing, but all these little things over the years, just misinformation about diet, about training, that kind of stuff. And then um, I would have followed you dave online um for a while over the last kind of year or so you know just emails and stuff and it was always on my list of things to do it's like oh maybe i'll just try that out and see how it goes you know maybe i do need a little bit of help which obviously you're kind of you don't think you do but then you're like, oh, maybe i should try it out and uh yeah and the rest is history now i could write a book on what i didn't know <laughs> <laughs> you know i suppose in the last decade then i still would have been getting to the gym you know obviously once we had the baby you know that kind of Kind of put a spanner on everything but there was not much training at all and the weight was going up and up and up um and it's you know you're kind of trying to recreate or kind of uh, redo the old gym programs by memory and you know there's no structure to that you're not kind of uh, monitoring exactly you know okay yeah if i can lift x amount this week next week i'll put it up a bit but as regards monitoring sets you know um reps times all that kind of stuff didn't do any of that so you know in retrospect now the wheels were just spinning there was no kind of a major benefit to it at all it was just you know i wouldn't say going through the motions i was still pushing hard and actually another thing which one of my biggest um one of my biggest struggles i suppose while starting to train with you is to not go to failure on everything so like you know one of my all previous trainers that i've ever used will push as hard as you can push as heavy as you can until you can't push anymore so now pyramid training all the different formats but literally until you can't lift another weight. I kind of have to keep forcing myself. And sometimes I do. I kind of go a little bit higher on the scale than I should. And I find it hard to dial it back still. Again, just misinformation from over the years. Um, Results-wise, um, well, f- I thought I was starting with you for nutrition guidance. Oh, actually, another, re- another reason as well is I would have had a lot of injuries over the years from soccer and um, karate, you know, weights, everything over the years. Um, to get back into some sort of proper training, I need to be looking after the body, the old body, and to recuperate from injury. So a lot of kind of like, you know, flexibility, I kind of saw as a bit of a priority in mobility and that kind of thing, which is another reason I liked what you had to say when I could kind of see what you were doing online. I was thinking, yeah, that's kind of more what I need to do. I need to get a bit of, you know, look after the muscles a lot more, you know, a warm up before might have been, ah, maybe jump on the cross trainer for five minutes and then belt into it. Um, I don't really kind of track the skin scales as much well let me rephrase that i don't track what weight i'm at as much it's not so much of a focus for me so i think it's bar 22 26 pound off ish maybe even a little bit more prior to when i started with you i probably probably would have been pushing late 18 so 18 three quarters never hit 19 but would have flooded with it um, and now i'm probably about between 16 and 16 and a half so obviously that's the first or whack away off and um, but it's more about you know it, it's not a priority for me anymore it's it's more about feeling it's more about uh, clothes fitting is a massive thing this hoodie in fact um, i think i spoke to you about it in one of my check-ins and um, like i mean I, this is like two years old and then um, i only i stuck it on me there i completely forgot i even had it brand new hoodie put away in the in the press oh, i'll get back to that i couldn't zip it up when i got it two years ago and now it's actually quite baggy on me so <laughs> little things like that are, you know nice, nice, very nice. Nice um so yeah, inches, inches and inches off everywhere. Um, a massive thing for me is getting the head around the nutrition. You know, I mean, my biggest regret with all of this is that I didn't notice it like 15 years ago. You know, I kind of want to wet and shout from the rooftops and shake people and kind of go like, I don't know how our culture has gotten so bad that people don't know the straightforward basics of nutrition because it is fucking straightforward. It is basic. Mm. Um, but, you know, again, hindsight's a wonderful thing, you know. 
So, yeah, I mean, you know, lots and lots of inches off, lots of body fat. And, um, you know, still still like to go a little bit more. Um, clothes, have to buy loads and loads of new clothes. You know, it's a horrible problem to have, but it's an expensive problem to have. <laughs> Ever have to wait into the bin or the charity shop. The, the massive game changer for me on was that the nutrition is easy. It's very easy. Like, um, I would have done everything for every kind of diet under the sun over the years. Now, I never did really the slimming world or Weight Watchers or like that, but I would have done like no carb, borderline keto, um, all that kind of stuff. And never ever just really, really just not calorie tracked or macro tracked or any of that, but it's so, so easy, this system. I mean, it doesn't really feel, even though I've been doing this since May, it doesn't really feel like I'm dieting because of the 80 20 split, because you can still have your treats if you want to have a couple of points with the lads. You can manage it into your life if you want. If you're a sweet tooth, you want to have chocolate or whatever, you can manage it all in and still drop weight consistently. It's class. It's so, so easy. And like, <laughs> I just, again, again, how did we not know this? Like, 20 years ago, this shit should be taught in school. Like, um, just a vast amount of information that, that's there if you want it or if you don't want it. And you just want to kind of tick the boxes and just kind of, you know, you tell me what to eat, you tell me what to train. That'll work. But that's not, I, I prefer to kind of know exactly what's happening and the information is unreal like being able to you know write your own meal plans nutrition track don't track eat what you want within reason it's so straightforward i did the what was it the free trial thing that you did like a 14 day or 12 day, i can't even remember what it was now 14 and i mean i was only a couple of days yeah i was only a couple of days into that and i went i oh, you know this is for me and you know and then straight into the six week program and then after that i've been using your one-to-one and since and you know you know what the fence thing is it's very uh, there's a couple of analogies like you know if your car was broken if something went in your car you get it fixed straight away you know if you know if you own your own home if you know if fence broke you're gonna get that fixed straight away but if there's something wrong with us as you know as humans you know especially as irish people if there's something wrong with you physically for some reason we don't get it fixed we don't get it looked at you know people can go through all the lives without knowing how to just regulate their body how to eat healthy how to lose body fat how to get trained why do we not invest in that it's just our Irish culture we just kind of think either you know we can do it ourselves or just just the way I am or that's just me genetics oh crap you know what I mean we should be asking for help you know what I mean and that's what it is so if you're on the fence do it you know what I mean even just do the six week one see how you feel about it but that's a no-brainer for me 